I have one patient who is a great supporter of homeopathy, beneficiary of homeopathy, and he refers to me many, many patients. And what is interesting is that the patients that he refers, all of them get better. And all of them stay with the treatment for a long, long time. Whereas with my other cases, their dropout rate is there, sometimes they don't improve, whatever it is. So I was, this phenomena struck me. So one day I asked him, how is it that every patient you refer gets better? And he gave me the answer. And he said, it is because I support them to get better. He said, doctor, you are giving so many seminars and lectures to homeopaths. You should be giving a seminar to patients. Because patients need your seminar more than doctors. I said, what do you mean? And that is true. That's exactly what he does. So whenever a patient comes to me, he is after that patient. What happened? Did you go? Did you? First of all, he wants them. This is what is going to happen to you, you know? So they are not surprised. The doctor is going to ask you all kinds of questions. He is going to ask the questions repetitively. It doesn't mean that he is an idiot. It doesn't mean you are an idiot. But that is his way of inquiry. Stay with it. He has got a 36 page form. Fill it out. Nothing will happen for three months. Don't worry. <laughs> then it will start. If you are acute, don't go anywhere. Go back to him. So he is constantly supporting them. <clears throat> giving, sharing his experience, his confidence, his faith. I had one dangerous situation, you know, I, I was treating one celebrity patient whom he referred. And this celebrity patient was a very serious case, was in the hospital. And I was called to see. Now, we started the homeopathy and next day or next day after that, the kidney function kind of dropped. No? So the allopathic doctor in the hospital, he said, what did you do yesterday? Started homeopathy. My God, homeopathy has finished his kidneys. <laughs> Celebrity patient in panic phoned me. Doctor, allopathic doctor is saying, which medicine have you given? Have you given some dangerous metal? What has happened? He is saying it's all due to homeopathy. I said, no, no, it's not due to homeopathy. You know, I don't want my name in the newspaper for the wrong reasons. <laughs> so, then this patient of mine phoned her up and she, he explained in great detail that homeopathy cannot do this and he has got very good knowledge of homeopathy, very good knowledge, explained in detail and the crisis was averted. So supporting them in difficult situations, acute situations, in was a very important factor by which that patient could be helped. So one of the reasons that we wanted benefited patients to come together is to form a support group for our existing patients. Many patients ask us the question, have you seen this case before? We say yes. Can you refer any patient who has benefited? Then sometimes we say, okay, we will ask, so we phone and take permission and let them speak. This is a great help to patients, great encouragement. So that's one of the reasons. Another thing is that in order that we can support homeopathy better, I think it's important to have little events or seminars 
where we, you know we speak about what's happening there are so many developments in homeopathy it's unbelievable last 20 years homeopathy has grown leaps and bounds it's like quantum leap you can say from newtonian physics to einstein physics and in the break if you go towards the reception you'll see all the literature that we have produced in the last 10 15 years it's phenomenal we have taken homeopathy from a symptom level to an experience level and integrated these two symptom and system to get definite results in homeopathy and uh, the result percentage in the academy is phenomenal better than ever ever before now monial to that i'll tell you one joke it was one of the funniest stories of my life we had an event for allopathic doctors here we say we introduce allopathic doctors and convince them that there is something in homeopathy so that you know we have more sharing more cooperation why we started specialty clinic you know when diabetic patient comes he goes to allopath allopath says you have to take 50 50 units of insulin and dare you stop i'll kill you don't see my face again then he goes to the homeopath homeopath says listen we are treating you holistically your blood sugar will come down you start reducing your insulin now otherwise you will go into hypoglycemia you will have a problem you will die <laughs> don't listen to the allopath <laughs> so patient between the devil and the deep sea he wants homeopathy also because he knows it is long term solution but the allopath scares the shit out of him i think the first lesson the allopath is taught in the college is how to scare the patient <laughs> i tell you one case one patient of mine landed up at hindu jaw leelawati hospital he had uh, chest pain i suspected he has got ischemic heart disease i said go there get your ecg get a stress test <laughs> he has been having chest pain for the last 2 years he told me i said listen has it been diagnosed in don't know i said just get it <coughs> 2 years he is having chest pain he goes to the hospital the fellow takes the ecg and he says the, the doctor says don't even stand up now <laughs> you are in risk <laughs> I will bring a stretcher. <laughs> Just lie down straight twice, you see you. <laughs> sweating, patient is sweating. He phoned me. He said, that's what the doctor is saying. What to do? I said, when the doctor is not looking, just get up and run. <laughs> Just come to my clinic, we will see. My logic was, if two years he is having pain, he probably can survive three days more. <laughs> so, the patient is confused. Here is creating his fear and here there is hope. What does he do? So, we thought, if we put the allopath homeopath in the same room on the same table, how would it be? And the allopath open-minded to homeopathy. So Dr. Mantura is there, he is an orthopedic surgeon. He has been working with a homeopathic colleague called Nimish Mehta for the last 15 years in homeopathic hospital. And they have seen more than 600 cases of rheumatism together with a success rate of more than 85%. Documented and tested and followed up by Mantura. <coughs> And he is very open to homeopathy. So if we put them together and start that unit here, because they closed it in the college. That was one idea. So Dr. Deepak Dalal, he is now in the next room actually, you can hear his voice in the background. <coughs> he is teaching about diabetes to doctors over there. And many of our residents are attending. So he is very open-minded. He, he tells, to, I had a discussion with him. He said, diabetes is not blood sugar. It is holistic 
I said, you are what? What are you? <laughs> Betraying your own science? <laughs> he said, no, no, this is reality. You have to treat the person as a whole. So such people, if we can bring. So patient has no confusion. He gets the best of both. But sometimes he will need, his blood sugar shoots up to 600, I will not take a chance. We are not fanatic. We are also <laughs> careful about the safety of the patient. At the same time, if he can evaluate, not only safety, diagnosis, evaluation, at the same time, monitoring with homeopathy. This is the idea. And if we can incorporate pathology also, we have a tie-up with pathology laboratory, with yoga, with meditation, with diet, with... What? How is that? So that's how we started. So, in any case, what was I saying? Conference that, uh, ah, I was telling a joke. <laughs> you see, this is my symptom. I wander off. I should consult a good homeopath. <laughs> so we call this <laughs> allopathic doctor group to create, you know, some awareness and I said, we will convince them, we will show them result after result after result. We have what? Several such, you know, you cannot believe what kind of cases we have documented. You will see the photographs only, you will get a little bit scared. Very, very bad cases have recovered. So we will show them and all that. So we showed them some cases. A little, you know, anticipating some kind of argument or attack. So I say, anybody has anything to say? So one doctor put up his hand. You know, I want to say, one day I had very, very <laughs> severe pain. I took so many painkillers, nothing happened. Then I went to the homeopath. Miracle! <laughs> so now, one after the other, ten of them are giving testimonials for homeopathy. Instead of me convincing them, I think I got more convinced. <laughs> I'll tell you another joke. Dr. Bhuma Vashi is there. She's an orthodontist, very well known in Andheri area. One day, I took her help. I said, listen, I have a huge infection over here abscess and all, and uh, what to do. So she referred me to a dentist. One doctor, <coughs> Darshan Parulkar is there in Bandra. Clinic. Said, so, you got very bad infection. I insist on antibiotics. And you are not going to say no. You are under my care. This is dangerous. <laughs> so, <laughs> Now see the joke, huh? I go and sit in his waiting room and I'm thinking to myself, I will not take antibiotics. <laughs> then his father walks in. His father, one of the most well-known, huh? was he dean of some college or something? He was professor of dental college, very, very famous dentist, Dr. Parunkar. He came and sat next to me. I say, I introduce myself, Dr. Shankar. Oh, Dr. Shankaran, you are a homeopath, you are a homeopath. I said, you know, he says, you know what? I remember one experience. My daughter had huge infection and boils on her body. We gave all kinds of antibiotics. She terrible state. Then finally, I took her to one Dr. Arun Samshi, who was head of surgery in KM hospital and he was practicing homeopathy. <laughs> See the joke, huh? And Dr. Arun Samshi said, you have been everywhere with these boils. Why don't you give homeopathy? I said, give. So he wrote a single dose of medicine called Bacillinum. From that day, Pachak, no more boils. I said, Dr. Darshan, please come. <laughs> Listen, your father. <laughs> He said, no, I don't believe this. You listen to me, not to my father. Okay, no problem. I went. Then I took homeopathy in three days. Everything healed. I went back to him. 
and I didn't open my mouth. Huh? Then he said, oh, well, fine. He said, you didn't take the antibiotic. I said, no, I didn't. <laughs> so like this, there are so many experiences.